we take responsibility? How? Okay, now I know I have to be responsible. How do I do it? How do I do it? I'm not going to tell you 100 steps. I just want to tell you one step. When you do one step, then you come back to me, we'll have some lunch, and I'll tell you step two. But right now, let's only worry about what? Step one. When did the Messenger وسلم, become a messenger? At what age? 40. And at the age of 40, he started doing da'wah, yes? He started doing da'wah. Now, was he living in Mecca before then? Yes. Did people know him before then? What did they call him? They used to give him some nice names. What were the nice names they gave him? Al Sadiq Al Amin. Did he ever talk to them about Islam before the age of 40? No. He did business with them. He lived with them. He was neighbors with them. He was friends with them. He ate with them. Yes? He talked with them every day. He helped them. He gave charity to them. That's all they had with him. For 40 years, the only thing they knew was As-Sadiq and Al-Ameen. And they knew that the most responsible person in our entire city is one person. Who is that? Muhammad. They don't call him Rasulullah yet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, that's your step one. Your step one as an Ummah, my step one as an Ummah, is we have to show the character of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a Sadiq and an Ameen to the entire world. So when they think of Muslims, they think of someone honest. When they think of Muslims, they think of someone they can trust. Right now, it is so bad, we can't even trust each other. We can't even trust each other. We lie and we cheat. We lie and we cheat in business. We lie and we cheat in our families. We lie and we cheat in inheritance. We lie and we cheat in our jobs. We lie and we cheat in our tax forms. We lie and we cheat Every chance we get, we lie and we cheat. The guy who's in the store selling cloth, you know the ladies, they go to buy clothes. Baji, ye bhoat mehenga hai, ye bada mushkil se mila hai. I have to give it to you, I have to sell it to you for a hundred. Because I bought it for ninety-nine. I will only make one. The guy bought it for ten, but he has to make a whole story so he can get her to buy it for ninety-nine. Okay, okay, you just take it for ninety-nine, it's okay. And he makes this whole story. You can't even sell something without lying. How are we going to earn Sadiq and Ameen for the entire world? We don't even think each other are Sadiq and Ameen. We don't think each other are Sadiq and Ameen. You know when you go in the Muslim world somewhere, not here, anywhere in the Muslim world, and you get in a taxi. If they can tell I'm American, three times the price. Why? Is that, is that, is that amana? Is that amana? You go to a mechanic, Muslim mechanic, mashallah, Muslim mechanic. I need an oil change. He opens your car, takes out the transmission, you need a new transmission too. I don't know car, he knows cars. We're cheating people. We're lying to people. We're dishonest to people. And then we talk about the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the da'wah to Islam, the sharia of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Wait a second, hold on, 40 years first. Step one. Step one. Nobody thinks we're honest right now. Nobody thinks we're trustworthy right now. That is our priority. That is when da'wah actually makes sense to people. Because before you even open your mouth, they love you. They love you. This man will never lie. I can trust him over anybody else. This is what a Muslim is supposed to be. So many of your co-workers are Hindu, so many of your co-workers are Christian in this country, so many of your co-workers are Buddhist, or maybe even atheists or agnos. The only thing about Islam they know is not the Qur'an. They don't know the Qur'an. The only Islam they know is you. You are Islam to them. You are the ambassador of Rasulullah to them Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So when you tell your co-worker, I'll be there in five minutes. Five minutes, I know the Sunni five minutes. Five minutes means sometime today. And the best one is, 
you haven't even left home yet. And they call you, where are you? Oh, I'm on the way. You're not on the way. You haven't even brushed your teeth. You're driving from like another country, you're driving over three hours away. Hey, where are you? Are you coming? Yeah, yeah just 10 minutes. Three hours, you convert them into... You're not in a helicopter, man. You're in a car. <laughs> be honest. In these little things, if we cannot be honest in little things, then definitely we cannot be honest in big things.